occurrence or incident. He died because of a totality of circumstances which are directly attributable to Dr. Murray. Not some mistake or some accident in the early morning hours of June 25, 2009, but because of a series of decisions that Dr. Murray made which jeopardized his patient, which violated his obligations to his patient and the essence of his Hippocratic Oath. Those violations overcome the other aspects of Dr. Murray's treatment of other patients and the good deeds he may have done uh, before that time. Dr. Murray created a set of circumstances and became involved in a cycle of horrible medicine. The practice of propofol for medicine madness which violated his sworn obligation for money, fame, prestige, and whatever else may have occurred. So I don't look to one isolated incident in terms of the misdeeds of Dr. Murray or the deeds of uh, Dr. Murray. But insofar as this case is concerned, Dr. Murray engaged in a recurring, continuous pattern of deceit, of lies, and regrettably, that pattern was to assist Dr. Murray. Uh, it is almost inconceivable that Dr. Murray would have persisted in this pattern over such an extensive period of time. The lies, the deceit began and continued as we heard for six weeks worth of testimony uh, to build up an absolutely astounding set of circumstances. Uh, the lies from the inception of his medical relationship uh, at the Holmby Hills residence in terms of ordering a propofol in staggering quantities, uh, unprecedented quantities. The lies to the pharmacy and to the pharmacist. The sophisticated, intentional deception in that regard. The lies and repeated deception to those associated with Mr. Jackson, whether it be members of the staff and also members of uh, the production team, AEG, uh, and Mr. Uh, Jackson's uh, personal and professional associates. Uh, the continuing series of lies to Michael Jackson's security and staff personnel at a critical point in time. The unconscionable lies to health care providers, lifesavers, paramedics, and medical personnel at UCLA, which were not designed to help his patient, quite the contrary, which were designed to deceive and give Dr. Uh, Murray a way out. The efforts on the part of Dr. Murray to subvert the process by attempting to destroy evidence. Subsequent efforts to cover up by distortions and lies to law enforcement. If one looks to the crime of involuntary manslaughter, one can say this may be something that went terribly wrong, and it's tragic. But it's so critically important not to have a superficial gut reaction 
to what happened in this case, but to look at the totality of circumstances in terms of the long-standing failure of character on the part of Dr. Murray to serve his patient. And when one does that, one can't help but be offended by the circumstances in this case. Of everything I heard and saw during the course of the trial, one aspect of the evidence stands out the most, and that is the surreptitious recording of Michael Jackson by his trusted doctor. And I have repeatedly asked myself, why did this happen and for what reason? And I can speculate and surmise that there might have been some justifiable reason, some benefit to Michael Jackson. That would be an entirely unreasonable conclusion. That tape recording was Dr. Murray's insurance policy. It was designed to record his patient surreptitiously at that patient's most vulnerable point. I can't even imagine that happening to any of us because of the horrific violation of trust. And I can't help but wonder that if there had been some conflict between Michael Jackson and Dr. Murray at a later point in time in their relationship, what value would be placed on that tape recording if the choice were to release that tape recording to a media organization to be used against Michael Jackson. And regrettably, that failure of character was compounded by later actions on the part of Dr. Murray each of which amounted to a betrayal of trust and confidence and a clear violation of the doctor-patient relationship and an undermining of the phenomenal role and responsibility that healthcare personnel, doctors, nurses, paramedics, healthcare aides perform in our society. We revere medical doctors and we should, because they work diligently and they serve and they make sacrifices to keep us well. And unquestionably, Dr. Murray did that. But at some point, things went terribly wrong for Dr. Murray. And when he had an opportunity, he didn't get out. He stayed in and he got deeper and deeper in trouble and he betrayed the very oaths and tenets of his uh, medical profession.